this is where the UK is different from Malaysia. <laughs> You may have seen on like movies where they, they, they charge the paddles up. Um, unfortunately, that's not too common now. We're moving towards a system where we have very kind of sticky pads that go on someone's chest. It just means that we can get a good idea of the rhythm that someone's heart in is when, when it does stop to see if we can deliver a shock. And it just saves us having to constantly put things on and off. And it just feels a bit safer from a, a delivery standpoint. But there's still some times where we, do, where, we, where we do use that, but it's becoming less and less common now. We would kind of stick on the chest. It allows us to see what rhythm the heart is in when someone is in cardiac arrest. They might be able to learn how to deliver a shock safely because it is quite a dangerous part of real life. So there's no electricity going through this patient. The students are safe when they practice it. So when they go to the wards, they're able to do it in a safe manner. I'm gonna ask everyone to stand back but continue CPR whilst I charge the defibrillator. Can we stop CPR and step back? So the top is clear, the middle is clear, the bottom is clear. We're gonna deliver a shock. Shock delivered, we're gonna restart CPR. So the students, when they're practicing their cardiac arrest scenarios can bring this into a bit more real life and we're in the right direction when it comes to realism.